Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Headcanon Games and Season 2 of our State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition Let's Play. Today, we have got, believe it or not, we've got more things to call in. Uh, the Unfortunately, just due to the way saving works in this game, uh, the, the, the mission to deliver food to the Boon Traders has disappeared. Hey, uh, oh, there it is. Boom. Proving me wrong. So, that is what we'll do first today, actually, because... Uh, I said we were going to, and I just forgot to take stuff to him last time, so that's on me. Uh, I do want to go ahead and take the opportunity to build the Red Talon Watchtower here. Because we're going to build a watchtower there anyways in the Red Talon one. I like the way it looks better, just personally. However, because, and I didn't even realize that uh, this was a call-in thing, that was my bad. I thought it was just something that randomly appeared on the map. But I am going to spend 200 influence some wheels. to call in the Bloodmobile, just because I think it sounds fun. Uh, where did they drop that? Okay, that's not far. That's not bad. Plus, the Norma's a little beat up. So, ooh, I should, I should grab food first. That should be the first thing we do. So, we are going to take some food, which we've got plenty of, and then we're going to go to the... Bloodmobile, which should be fun. I haven't actually driven this around yet, so... But, uh, and the Norma's a little beat up anyway, so... Should be good. But then we'll drive out... to the hospital, making this Bloodmobile even more appropriate, and hand this off to them. And we'll check out the new bounties that are available, too, since, uh... since that update is out, and we'll make the appropriate changes we need to. And there's already... The first infestation. Fantastic. Just great. Just great. So we'll head out. Oh, it's squirrely. Which shouldn't surprise me. They're always squirrely. So it's been a few days since we arrived in Drucker County. The place Azrael sent us to set up an outpost. Dust and bones as far as the eye can see, but well, I won't complain. This other guy, his name is kind of ridiculous. Lavelle LaChapelle. Well, I think I'm going to call him L.L. Chappelle. Well, I think he's okay. We managed to secure a house as our first base. Nothing too big and not at all luxurious, but we have space for a makeshift infirmary and a space to sleep. Maybe later we're going to figure out how to get some kind of workshop up and running. You know, to harvest old weapons and keep our stuff from falling apart. All right, and as we're pulling up, actually, uh, actually, it probably makes more sense to go over this way first and drop off the, uh, drop off the food first and then go to the bounty broker. Ugh. Oh, it seems so appropriate. I do kind of hope once they take the Bloodmobile out of quote-unquote circulation for being able to call in, I hope they keep it in as something that may randomly appear. Because, I mean, they've got the assets. They're right there, and it's kind of fun. So I kind of hope that sticks around at least like that. Boon. There you are. Hey, Jimmy. There you go. Uh... Wait, what? I have a rucksack of food. No room for that. Oh, that's right. It's in the back of the blood. <laughs> I forgot to grab it out. That's... Yep. I was like, I have one. I know I grabbed one. There we go. There we go. What's up? Here you go. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Spreading the word influence bonus. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, we could probably take someone from here and recruit them, but I kind of like the influence in. bonus. So I think we're going to uh, keep that and let that stick Glad around. That done. On to the next. Woot woot. Good job, Harold. So now we're going to head over to the bounty broker. I was kind of hoping we would get the, oops, the 10 kilometers before 
uh, we made it over here, but it, we weren't quite that lucky, but that's okay. We'll run over here. Greetings. And, uh, we have bounties in quite a wide you know, variety. make the changes that we need to. Uh, specifically that one. Okay, yeah, easy. Is there anything that we're doing out of this one? No, there's not. So, if that's the case... Oh no, there's that. We did that one, the Trumbull 4x4. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to complete that one in time. So I'm actually going to go over and just start on the bug-out bag. I think that's probably the good one to start with first. Scavenge 12 ammo. I mean, that's a good one to get started, too, when we can. Also, the Mad Norma one's a good one as well. Yeah, these are all pretty nice ones. That's right, the go bag one's a pretty good one. Yeah, the go bag's a pretty good one. But I'm gonna An yeah. excellent choice. We're gonna go ahead and start you're that. Brave enough to say goodbye. Life will reward you with a new hello. Interesting turn of phrase there. Cash. Alright, so we need to You're getting tired, buddy. But another thing we're going to do on our way back is we are going to go into daybreak because we've got enough and we're going to uh, we are going to call in a red talon operator for free people and why would we not use red talon when we've got it? We need new blood around here and we think red talon's the right place to look for it. What do you say? Absolutely. We have a nearby agent who will respond shortly to your request. Cool, where are they? I hear your crew needs a badass. Well, now you've got one. Ah, uh, sweet. You can call me Duck. Okay, Duck. We're coming. Is that the... That's not the direction. Now you watch, we're gonna take over this bounty broker thing on our way back, so we'll have to come back this way sooner or later. So, that'll be interesting, to say the least. But I mean, we'll eventually, we were eventually gonna have to come back this way anyway, so. Um, that's the wrong way. I don't know why, but this, There we go. This way? Okay, yes, it's this way. I don't know why, but this town always confuses me quite a bit. I'm sure the rest of you... you probably could have just... hung around here and, like, did some grinding and just quickly got in that bag, but... We'll worry about the bag later. The bag will be easy to get done, so. Plus, we need to get... Yep, see, there it went. <laughs> there it went. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Knew that was going to happen, though. Just knew it. Uh, maybe we'll take this and go over to the open field and run over some stuff while we're trying to hunt down some... Uh, plague samples. Well, let's go get duck. We're coming for you, duck. Especially since you're so close to home, which is lucky. Normally, they wouldn't be that close to home. So, everything's, uh, everything's looking up for us. Really wish this wasn't quite as squirrely, but oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Smack. Just gently turn. No, 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 no. There we go. I know I could be stopping to pick up stuff, but he, I don't, I don't want to risk 
losing anybody right now with how tired he is. So we'll have to leave that to someone else this time. And there's plenty of places nearby that we can look into. So it's not a huge worry yet. It could be... Okay. Yep, I went out of my way to hit two of them. That's two more we don't have to hit later. And uh, that's my reason, and I'm sticking to it. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Splat. And then turn here. And then we'll run over and we'll grab Duck. We'll probably send Harold to grab Duck, because I actually want to get... Uh, I want to get Lavelle... Uh sleeping as quick as possible. Poor guy's all tuckered out. He's been going, you know, just a mile a minute. Uh, uh. Come on, buddy. Up. And... Nope, oh, we gotta park better than that. Don't be so aggressive with your parking. There we go. That's better. Pretty sure we... Yeah, there's nothing back there. Okay. Yep, just run, hop, climb. And we'll grab Harold. Um, do I want to switch... I think I'll leave him with the Bolt Scout for now. Are we having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? That's a good question. That's close enough we can walk. That's close enough. We can walk. Oh, oh. You really should be resting, but okay. Whatever makes you feel better, dude. Whatever makes you feel better. Just, uh, take out this big guy here. Alright, we will... No more we'll go ahead and search Let's this. Make the most of it. Just because, you know, it's it's small... It's a small area. Is that it? Won't be much in it, and it'll keep this place kind of clear of new zombies showing up for a little bit. We can go around and clear out the houses later. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Huh. I'll take it for now just as something we can trade, and we can drop it if we need to. Go through, clear this out. Last box. This be useful. Ooh, a pill press. Interesting. And a splitting mall. And a... Soda can bomb. And he's just having fun. I'm not sure if he's actually shooting far enough to hit any zombies, but it makes him happy, and I guess that's really all that matters. Especially in trying times like these. You know, just whatever, whatever makes their day a little better. In the long run. I suppose we could just drop stuff off at our... For a second. Yeah, we can just drop stuff off over here. We'll do that. Which is why this is a, a great little rest stop. Probably should go ahead and clear out the stuff in its... That's locked. Yeah, who locked this door? Who, who did that? It, I'm sure it's safe protocol to do that, but still. Dump this stuff in don't need that. I do want to check, because I meant to check this. I'm going to use it just because it's fun. Um, it's not actually as good as what we, we were using, but... I mean, it's cool. Look at it. It's fun. It's cool. It's fun. We'll stop by that on our way back. Climb over. Now... I don't know about you guys, but I have bad luck over this way. There always seems to be a juggernaut that likes to spawn over here. Uh, we may get, I think we might get lucky this time. Nothing good left in here. But I, for whatever reason, this house seems to have bad luck for me. Killed it. It did not leave me anything. That is sad. 
Very sad. Hey there. Hey there. Hey. Sup, Duck. Good to see you again. Where are you? Again? We've never met him. Hello. I got you, fam. Uh, I want to learn about you. You know demolition, so that's kind of cool. I hope. I got you, fam. You don't have any super negative ones, but I am enjoying the way you talk to me. You can come with me. Can I check your stuff? Yes, I can. Okay, Duck. Nicodemo Dolan, a.k.a. Duck. Okay. Diehard veteran, minus, yeah, the hundred. Okay, demolitionist. I was one of those who set the charges while everyone else ran for cover. Plus five max ammo storage, plus five max fuel storage. Plus one bed use, but that's countered by uh, Lavelle here. So that's okay. Plus one zombie threat, but we've got the uh, plus or minus three zombie threat, so that's okay as well. Trained off the grid, plus 50% food consumed per day. That's... Uh, you know, I'll take that. That's not the worst thing in the world. Because um, we can we can work around that. And uh, there's the Red Talon contractor, which is always a thing. So, Which is always a thing. So, yeah, he's not bad. I think we'll keep him. I am going to... Uh, I'm, just because I want to see what he looks like. Um... I'm not saying I'm gonna change his stuff, but I like to look. Like, there's always the... There's just the straight-up Red Talon bomber jacket. Uh, this area kind of reminds me of, like, Arizona or Utah or something. So, I may change what they're wearing anyways. Just because some... <laughs> fly flew right in front of my face. This shit? Some post-fuck-up historian with a notepad? <laughs> okay, he's funny. I like him. I like that they added the gun thing to the hoodies. I'm a fan of that. Uh, where's, what am I looking for? There's some tactical uniform. That's what I'm looking for. Um, I think I will leave him with, I'll probably do something like that. Let's, let's see. That would be funny, but... <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead just because I like being able to see their face. We'll go ahead and go for the army cap. And just go for the black army cap and it'll match his outfit. But I think probably for these guys, because I can't imagine this is that comfortable. So, we'll go for, let's go for the combat tee, because the combat tee is cool. Um, for Harold, I do like the combat tee. The combat tee does look really good. I'm trying to find something with the... Yeah, like the tactical thing. The leather trench coat doesn't look as good on the guys, personally. I don't mind that if it wasn't for the fact that we can't see his face. That's the only issue. Is there just even a... No. Um... He, he may be stuck just wearing the puffy vest... Yeah, I think he's stuck wearing the puffy vest for now, but it's not bad, so we'll call it good. We'll call it good. And we're here, so we may as well search the place. So let's see what we can find. Let's have a look-see. There's that. I don't know if we'll actually be able to give anything to Duck until, um, uh... Unless it's like a, um, what's the word, uh, an actual rucksack. 
I don't think we can actually take over him until we go back to our home base, which is fine. Which is fine. I may, if we find a rucksack, just give it to him and tell him to go back. Who knows? Bag of snacks. Where else is there stuff? In here. Thanks, Lily, for telling us what we already know. I know, you're just trying to help people that don't know, but still. I'm telling you, the computers in this game really make me think that this is supposed to be set in the 90s. Oh, we got the hunting crossbow. Somebody needs to be our crossbow user. That's interesting. That's very interesting. We may have to go talk to them. Uh, I especially like it uh, because there is like a straight up hospital here. And with like when they show up on other maps, sometimes it's like, but where's the hospital? But for this, you know, I mean, there's an actual hospital. So not bad. Okay. Just needed to refamiliarize myself with the uh, the crossbow. That's all. Come on, let's go. We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna turn this stuff in, and then we're gonna clear out these two facilities here. Facilities. It's a <laughs> it's a storage shed and a like a farmer's market place. So, you know, facilities, clearly. That's that's clearly what these are. Yeah, I guess I can turn that in, yeah. Do I have any extra ammo for this? I don't. That's okay, though, because we can recover. So, not the biggest problem in the world. I'm not saying that Harold's going to stick with the hunting crossbow, because, I mean, you know, we could find someone that would work better with it, but still. I think it's always good to have a person with a crossbow. Any, if any more than that, uh, I think is maybe push is a little unnecessary, but, you know, at that point, it's kind of your own discretion. Hooray, we, we found some food. You found food while you were wandering around the base. That's a little suspect, because how do I know you didn't just pick up food that we already had cataloged? But, you know. That, that... All right, so I'm already a big fan of Duck, because that's, that's correct. You can have friends. You just have to be, you know, you gotta... There you go. I was just, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about who you're gonna pick. That's, that is fair. That is completely fair. This duck, you know, he's a smart dude so far. That's all. That's all I'm saying. We'll go ahead and search these because we've got room in our pack. Open that up. Go down here. Open that up. Grab this. Go in here. No, we shouldn't build an outpost here because we just built an outpost like five feet away. Okay, a little more than five feet. Like ten feet away. That makes no sense, Harold. Stop saying things just because you think they sound smart. Come on, man. You're better than that. I do still kind of think it would be cool if, like, being able to call in a Red Talon contractor, if you could call in a network contractor. I think that... I do think that would kind of be cool, but... 
I also understand why they haven't added anything like that. That would take a lot of work and time. And especially, you know, now that went over the house. We're not getting that back. Tink. Please stop moving. I'm actually a little surprised that one hit. We got, got kind of lucky on that one. Oh, there are zombies in there. I can hear them. So we're we're gonna not worry about it yet. I will. <laughs> you are, you are a delight, duck. You are an absolute delight. Forty fives. Maybe a repair kit. That would be nice. No, not a repair kit. Sad. Maybe something nice? Alright. That's a level up. On wits. Let's see. Uh... Hmm... I like the light encumbrance limit and weapon durability. Quiet, quicker sneaking. I do like the quicker. I'm going to go with the quicker sneaking. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that because I want to have at least someone who can do that. And if he's going to use the crossbow, Harold is currently on track to be our... Is currently on track to be our... What's it called? Our, um... Uh, I'm sorry, all those gunshots were distracting me. But our infestation clear. Uh, going to switch to duck. Talk to Harold. I'm going to, uh... Okay, he's not enlisted. Okay. And so Duck can drop off the food. Out of curiosity, what is your warlord? Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, you've got the... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh. He's got the Stormbringer. Fantastic. What a good day. And he comes with... I'm going to drop those off just so we can move. But he's got the C4 charges. Fun, fun. And you've got the Extermination Blade. Awesome. Well, happy day. We'll take some of that. Uh, we'll take the Painkillers. And then we'll take... We'll take that, but literally... I'm going to have, like, and it's literally just going to fill it up, so, fill it up, boom, so, medics are over there, and the cure for all seasons over there. I probably... What I really should do is I should take Harold. That's technically not true, Lavelle. That's not how this works. But yeah, we should take Harold and head over that way. And while we're over there, and you, since he's got a crossbow, that should help make dropping the uh plague samples more likely oop sorry norma so i think that's what we'll do here i am gonna actually go talk to them first i was trying to decide if i should maybe grab stuff and trade with them but i don't know if i can trade with them yet what we're gonna do though is we're gonna go talk to them because I can't I'm not sure if we need one or two it seems not random but it doesn't always seem consistent there we go 
We can also maybe make some progress on that. In fact, we're just going to do that now. We don't normally get to do this, and this is fun. No, we didn't. We're fine. If you could... Yeah, if you could get off my car, I would appreciate that. And now it's stuck in the car. Can I? There it is. There we go. Ooh, plague sample. Oh, okay, I'll pick that up in a second. Yeah, that's fine. I know, I've beaten up the bloodmobile a little bit. But, you know, it'll be fine. There we go. Took care of it. There goes that normal zombie. Now, the plague sample was, like, over this way. Um, there it is. I knew I'd find it, eventually. Who decided to... I still, just who decides to set up that close to a plague heart? just seems like a bad idea you know just feel like you know maybe cooler heads should have made a decision there is all bip that kept going that is my one complaint about the piercing. It They do just keep going, and you're... Oh, did I not? Well, my bad. And it, you're just not very likely to get it back. It's kind of sad. Where are they? Oh, they're not as close as I thought they were. They're down here. That makes a little more sense, actually. That's a bit better of a decision. Oh, you're in the zebra outfit. I was like, what hat are you wearing? I want to talk to Bernita. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I could trade with you. Okay, well, you know. I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm just, you know, going to see what's in these because this is gun stuff, so. Light bolts. Um, what do you got here? I agree, Lavelle. La Chapelle. Yeah, that is, that is exactly my response. That is not too bad. I am going to check this honeycomb or this beehive as well, because they sometimes have honeycombs, which are just good for trading, and since we're right here. Case of food, also not bad. Also not bad. I think it's funny that you could claim this outpost even though there's people living here. Okay, let's... Let's do a bit of hunting. Nothing. Darn. PQ. If you could stop a wibbly wobbling. I hope you all saw that. That was a really good shot. Um, you should all be impressed by it. Just saying. No? Nothing? Okay. Come on, give me something here. I don't really have anything on me to go... You know, really to start wailing on the... I could... Like, I could go over to the... 
little military checkpoint. Oh, nope, there's something. Okay. There we go. We'll need to take that out soon, though, anyways, but at this current juncture in time, it is not the most important thing in the world because it'll be easy no matter what. <sighs> Nothing. Come on. All right, let's run back. Did I? I didn't search in here. I'm going to search in here just because it's right here. So, and see what there is. Now, fortunately for us, we've got that, uh... Let's go away. We've got that, uh, we've already got a blood plague cure on us, so... Or not on us, on us, but at the base, so... That's good. Uh, Bernita. There you go. Cool. Ooh, thank you for the premium fuel cans. I would like to learn about all of you and see if any of you have any particularly interesting skills. You have sports trivia. You have craftsmanship. That's not bad. I'm just going to start opening things here uh, to take back because we are going to head back to the... Uh, back to the house. Do you have anything else to add about that, Lavelle? Or are you just saying that we should take them out? Eh. Okay, I'm going to get... Yeah, I'm going to trade that classic crossbow. Oh, thank you. You're a sweetheart. Here. Um, I'm going to take that first. Now, have that. Enjoy. A gift from us. Yep, a gift. That's what it is. Enjoy. Maybe repair kit? No, not repair kit. Sad. Would like repair kit. I know we could make repair kits, and we may, but... I will be right back for that. Hello! Hey, yo. Uh, I would like to trade with you again, because guess what? We have airplane booze! Hooray! Everybody's favorite, airplane booze. And now I'm going to search this, and I expect it to be a gas can. Uh, no, it's not. It's not a gas can. Which means I'm going to... Oh, uh, now I gotta... I parked far away. I shouldn't have parked so far away. That was a... That was a bad decision. Oh. Okay, you have to die. Stop moving. <sighs> Dang it. I was trying to predict, you know, I'm just gonna... Oh, come on! If you could stop moving, sir. There we go. Yeah, my goal... I, w I didn't think there was gonna be really any chance that I was gonna take him out quietly, so... Okay. I'm gonna drive over this time. Which now, with how close it is, it seems like it's lazy, but I promise it's not. Yeah, but they'll be really happy, you know, kind of once you get back. Who was that? Which one? Good sh Whoever it was, good shot. The medics re-up. I kind of want to do that. Because uh, if nothing else, we can recruit one of them. And then we would have a good medic. So that's really the plan going in. Oh, that's a screamer. Um, well, you know, it's not a big deal. We're not even near him. So, you know, not a big deal. You know, I like this, I like this Bloodmobile. It's got, 
it handles a little bit better than cars of its side size and it it's got a little more get up and go it feels like so i feel it's just but it's still got the nice six if that makes sense to what i've just said now let's dump this stuff Boom. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take duck and actually let's let me double check here with this base. Not that. What can we craft? We cannot. That is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we could make, you know, we're going to go ahead and do that because we've got some of those. But I was kind of hoping we could make repair kits, but we can't. So in lieu of that, have fun up there. We are going to uh, I'm going to grab a fuel canister. And I'm going to fuel up, because I kind of like the the Bloodmobile better, honestly. I'm going to put some fuel in Norma on the off chance she lives. And we're going to go, and on our way over here, we're going to take out this blood, or this plague heart. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to maneuver. And then next episode. Okay, please don't. There we go. Okay. I was like, please, please don't be enough to break it. Because, especially since this is the first Plague Heart. We should, operative word is should. I'm actually going to stay out here and take care of the zombies first. And boom. We should Yes, there are duck, but this is what you've been trained for. And this should take care of them pretty well because it's not very strong. I bet it does, but this should be enough. That wasn't enough, and that's disconcerting. That should have been enough. I was really hoping it would. Run away, run away. Dodge, dodge, run. Yep. Load up good. Nope. Get him away. Ow. Run. Run. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Run to where people can help you. Eat snacks. Run. Help. We're friends now. Help us. Ow. Die! Okay, we've got like 17 shots left. Uh, will that be enough to take it out? I don't know, but we have a safe place to run, and that's what matters. Is this a good idea? Also, probably not, but, you know. Wouldn't be worth it if we didn't, you know, risk the biscuit a little bit. That's what makes it exciting. You scummy scumbag. Uh, you weren't reloaded? Okay. Thought you were. It's close. There we go.
You know, I knew we were close. AR-15. Not bad. Trench tool. I mean, okay. I'll take all that. Take that and that. Took that. Actually, I'll just keep that on me just so we can run away. Oh, a new infestation. Why? <laughs> Why? I could clear this out, but I'm not going to right now. Um, we're full anyways. I'm just going to run over here. Um... Thank you very much, Duck. You did good. You done did good, son. Hey, yo. Uh, here. Have a rusty screwdriver. Because that's totally what you want. And then I can... Uh, oh, that's not what I'll... That's not what this needs. I'm going to unload it anyways. Because um, I know I said we were going to go... And do the medics. Uh, I think they'll be there after I save. So we're just going to go back to the camp and let Duck rest. Duck did what Duck was hired to do. Uh, which is be a bit of an enforcer. And, you know, take on, uh, take on dangerous missions like that. Hopefully we can get him a partner sooner or later. And maybe a doctor to help us. But, you know, that's uh, that's just the state of affairs right now. That's where we're, you know, kind of at with things. And Duck knew that when we brought him on. And he was, uh, he was prepared. Which I think speaks a lot to his character. And, uh, you know, he understands that that's what you gotta do sometimes. So... Good for him. And he made it back with Norma, which, you know, we should all be impressed with. Because that was, uh, you know, that was never a guarantee. However, it has been a little over 45 minutes, so I am going to leave you guys here. But if you like this, you know what to do. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.